right good morning good afternoon good good evening one and all welcome to our today's session which is about a very trending technology blockchain hi i am sayali working as a nce network consulting engineer in cisco i'm passionate about learning and implementing technology and hence i'm leading multiple initiatives in cisco also i have delivered couple of sessions in ai ml data science and blockchain all over the world now imagine if i would have asked you say around like 50 years ago which is the next thing that is going to break the market which is going to bring the revolution to the industry we would have never guessed that the industry internet is the thing that is going to bring this change exactly talking about internet there was a good old time where internet was only for people where people could search pictures, music, upload, and some documents and whatnot. But it was a happy, lonely world, but only for the people. But now with the advancement in technology, newer and newer projects, products are being manufactured and being launched into the market and consumed by our end users. That is from us. But at the same time, these multiple projects, these multiple products, for example, thermometer, then uh, heartbeat monitoring system, remote monitoring system, these age devices are opening more and more security vulnerabilities threats for your data stream. Right or not? So I would like to mark a great quote said by a great philosopher that if you reveal the secrets to the wind, you should not blame them for being exposed to the trees right what else could be could be the true for this current scenario let's see about what have been the notable security breaches till now you name it you name it and each and every company at some or the other point of the time had or have some more major security attacks let's take look at few of them capital one uber Equifax, LinkedIn, Google, Twitter, JP Morgan, and whatnot. So most of these companies had to compromise with the, with the customer's data privacy, most importantly, monetary loss, reduced valuation, and data privacy, right? So we all are agree with the fact that security is really very, very important. To bring security in our transaction and technologies and in our day-to-day -day life, we need to bring a trust. Trust. And here I am today talking about one such technology that, that brings trust to the security, to, to the system, to the transactions, and it is boosting our security. We call it as blockchain. Before Dave dive into blockchain, there is a huge misnomer with blockchain that it is equivalent to Bitcoin. But that is not at all true as Bitcoin is one of the use case of blockchain. All right, then let's start with blockchain. What is blockchain? Ah, it looks something like this blockchain where all blocks are connected to each other with the help of chain. Very first block, we call it as a genesis block. Now these multiple blocks, they are going to contain hash value of the previous block. So these all blocks are not maintaining in a single place. They can be all around the world and these blocks are going to form a blockchain. Each of the consecutive block has a hash value of the previous one. Now the main question arises is why blockchain, right? There are multiple technologies out there in the market, but why do we need blockchain? If we take a deeper and a bit detailed look at the block, this is how it looks like. The very first thing that comes is block header, block size, transaction counter and transaction list where every block is going to have its own unique values. We call them as a hash value. We call them as a Merkle root, nuns and timestamp of the transaction. So basically it is sender, receiver and a payload. All these transaction lists are being maintained in each and every block. This blockchain is going to save us from a lot of many vulnerabilities. Now the main question arises is that why blockchain? Because there are multiple technologies in the market. If you take a step back and think about CIA triad, that is the very basic structure in each security model. 
confidentiality, integrity, availability. Blockchain is a technology that gives us a pretty good mixture of these things. Talking about why blockchain, the very first thing that should come to our mind is decentralization. It is a peer-to-peer -peer network where there is no centralized server or a network present in this blockchain. For instance, when you transfer some money to your friend, you will have the dependent on a bank. Any third party will be there in the transaction. But in case of blockchain, there will not be any third party. Talking about next magic feature is distributed ledger. As the name suggests, it is nothing but a record of all transactions that are happening in the blockchain. Main ledger is going to share each and every transaction with all the other blocks. This is like a Xerox copy with all the other transactions. Next is consensus. That is, when some new block is getting added into existing blockchain, we will have to verify and validate it if that block is really work, working fine or not. That is nothing but a consensus where we are going to take the participation advices and then we are going to allow that block. Last but not the least is immutability. All the transactions that are happening are being immutable because it is confidentiality and CIA triad is followed by the blockchain technology. Now these are some of the very magical points of blockchain. We have a pretty good understanding of blockchain and what are all the magical features of blockchain. Now let's see what are all challenges that these blo this blockchain is going to solve. Talking about challenges, nowadays it is very easy to get someone's identity. We can replace its identity and we call it as identity theft protection. In case of blockchain, every block, every user is going to get an identity which is cryptographically signed and with the timestamp. Hacker would have to destroy the data stored on every user's custom computer in the global network. This is an extreme possible reason. There could be millions of computers that are present in one blockchain. So with and every computer is going to have its own Xerox copy of all the transactions of all the identities. So it is very, very difficult for a hacker to get someone's identity and replace it. That's how we are going to protect with our blockchain decentralization authentication and encryption these are the features that will be used in identity theft protection when you read or hear about the website is being brought down by hacker or some server is down it generally means it has become a victim of ddos attack what is ddos attack it is a distributed denial of service attack the main attack, main aim of this attack is to overload the server with a lot of tra traffic. That is all the unnecessary messages. To prevent DDoS attack, we need to maintain our DNS. What is DNS? That is domain name system. If we are protecting domain name system with a very good security, then it is very difficult to do a DDoS attack. Now, in case of blockchain, we are going to decentralize the complete DNS. With the help of blockchain, we are going to distribute the content to a large number of nodes and making it nearly impossible for hackers to attack. Domain editing rights would only be granted to those who need them. So we are going to use a concept of domain owners in this case, also a safe coin. So no other user could use, make any changes and this will significantly reduce the risk of data being accessed or changed by unauthorized parties. We are also keep going to keep the records of all the transactions that are being happening in the blockchain. Some of the companies are already implementing blockchain in the area of DDoS attack. Blockstack, Blockstack and MedSafe are one of them. Moving further, we always get one or other updates for our software upgradation on the laptop, on the PC. Before clicking the update button, don't you think we should give it a thought? What if this is not an update, but it is some virus or some malware attack? 
With the help of blockchain, we are going to validate if the software updates that are coming to our laptop or a PC are real or fake. Smart contracts com comes into the picture where proof of delivery, digital signature are going to help us to check if software updates messages are valid or not. We are going to have a digitally signed signatures on each of the document. And this will help us to provide the validity to our software updates. Moving further, this is an era of instant messaging apps like WhatsApp, Hike, WeChat, and whatnot. A lot of metadata is collected from customers during these exchanges on social media in, in instant messaging apps. But, but there is no end-to-end -end encryption in all of these instant messaging apps. The emerging source blockchain communication ecosystem is going to tackle this issue and it is going to work towards creating a new system of unified communication. Blockchain is a great solution for that. It secures all data exchanges. Also, it enables connectivity between different messaging platforms. When access control, network traffic, and even data itself is no longer held in a single position, it becomes much more difficult for cyber criminals to exploit. This has the potential to more and more security and less vulnerability. This is a world of IoT, Internet of Things. Hackers often gain access to the system by exploiting weaknesses in edge devices. For example, smart thermostat, doorbells, some uh, security, some security cameras, they all are vulnerable because blockchain technology can be used to protect this system. How? We are going to make the smart devices even more smarter because to make them security decisions without relying on a central authority. For instance, devices can form a group consensus regarding the normal occurrences within a network. And if some device is behaving suspiciously, we can definitely delete or remove that node from the complete blockchain that will save all other devices from, from, uh, from hackers. We can also protect all the data exchanges happening with, between the IoT devices. It can be used to attain near real-time secure data transmission and ensure timely communication between devices. So security identity, smart contract, and decentralization features are going to be used in case of IoT security. Now, with the help of these magical features of blockchain, we are going to use and secure our system. We are going to boost the cyber security, specifically in this pandemic era. But what do you think? Blockchain is only for security? No. Blockchain have a huge industry impact of, of multiple innovation, education, development, finance, government sector. We have all different categories. We have all different industrial impacts of blockchain. So, so we are going to use blockchain in our day-to-day -day life. As every technology comes with its own pros and cons, blockchain has its own. But I'm pretty sure that we will be using blockchain technology in different industrial impact in our day-to-day -day life. So this brings us to the end of our session. I'm glad that you are attending my session, our session. Thank you so much. If you have any questions about blockchain, about technology, about cybersecurity, and about any blockchain related questions, please drop me a mail. Uh, and thank you so much. Have a very wonderful day, wonderful year ahead. Thank you so much.